Waking up this morning, I was tired. I didn't want to get up. Hey, Megan, you need to get up now, okay? We got a lot of work to do today, okay? I was really tired, and I was really cold. Shauna, we're going to head down for breakfast. I'm sure you're hungry. Getting the kids up was difficult. Hopefully, they'll be able to join us. The purpose of today was to go to Pam's father's rental property. Tenants leave from time to time, and there's always cleaning to do. Well, make sure you make it, because every minute that you're late, that's extra work today. Let's hang tight, OK, guys? I know y'all are all hungry. Neither girls are at the table with our family. As we are ready to eat, we are furious. Megan, I need you to go ahead and finish up with this real quick and straighten up your bag. Five minutes. That's it. Because you missed breakfast. We're leaving in five minutes. Pulling out. Oh, my god. Right now, they think they have us played. Go ahead and get in the car. They think that they are too smart for us. However, we have so many different ways that we will be driving home the points that we have in our family that they will not be abusing. Our plan today is to get everything cleaned up around here so that everything looks nice and uh, for somebody to move in. You all understand? Everybody understand? Megan, Downstairs. Shauna, let's stop right here. Because you guys, when someone is talking to you, you need to look at them. Here's the deal. You know, yes, sir, no, sir. We went over that yesterday. Y'all got a lot of breaks on that yesterday. There's no breaks today. You're going to get another five minutes outside shoveling snow. Understand what we're saying? All right, that's five more minutes right there. Since they're a rental house, so they should be able to do it themselves. What I need you to do is uh, I need you to shovel off this whole walkway right here. All right, Megan, I need a uh, walkway all the way to the stairs there. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Me having to shovel snow because I didn't say yes, sir, no, sir, was really annoying, and it was really, it was ridiculous. You doing OK? Mm-hmm. What's that? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir, right? Yep. I'm not going to say yes, ma'am, or no, sir, when you're having me do a chore, when I'm already having an attitude and getting irritated. OK. You'll be staying out here a little bit longer, then. You want to stay out here all day? Fine by me. OK. Fine by me, too. Ugh. What's going on? Well, you got to get this part done right here. You need to take a break for a minute? Uh, yeah. What's that? Yes, sir. All right, well, you got another five minutes for you. My goodness. OK, all right. So get started again. When, when I was shoveling, Mike was down my back, and he kept coming outside, and he was saying stuff like, how you doing? You okay? You need anything? You need to take a little break? That was really annoying. Do you feel like we need to do more, Megan, or are you ready to come inside? Uh, I'm ready to come in. Okay. It's you, cold. You gonna remember your manners? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay, and leave the shovel right here. Thank you. I did what the Brown said and got my shovel over with because I wanted to go inside. I was cold. Step up on here, and we're gonna go ahead and clean each blade. You might need to go up a little bit higher because so that you can get it from the top as well. What a bitch. Shauna, Mr. Brown said you've been a little defiant. Why is that? I don't know. I'm thinking I'm not going to tell him yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, because it's stupid. All right, well, then keep on going. You can stay out here until it's pitch black at night. It's fine with us. It was important for me, for Shauna, to say yes, ma'am, because that is one of our rules. But she had a defiance in her, and we were going to break it down. It will get done. Do you hear me? Mm. Shauna, do you hear me? Yes. S say it one more time. Do you hear me? Yep. We're going to up the ante a little bit more here. Put some effort into it. All right, you know what? Come on down here. I'm going to make you a little bit more uncomfortable. <clears throat> Just start digging right here, and I just want you to make a pile, big pile. I was like, fine by me, it's whatever. Not fast enough, keep going. My problem. At this moment, from here on out, her world will be rocked. Put the shovel down, put the shovel down. Come on over here. 
I want you to go get those plastic chairs over there. Wipe the snow off of it with your hands. With your hands. Try again. Wipe it off with your hands. Keep going. Use your hands. Almost. There you go. Get it all off. You know, Shauna, look at me. Finally, by the third time, if you did it the first time, life would be so simple. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. Yes what? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. When Shauna finally said yes, ma'am, to me, that was a hallelujah moment. Honestly, look at my eyes. When an adult asks you to do something the very first time, just do it. Is that how it is at home? Your mom, or dad, stepdad has to ask you several times before you even do it, if you do it at all? Mm-hmm. Do you think that's something maybe you could work on? Mm-hmm. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I think you could do great with that. It's easier to do what Pam says, because she gets really annoying. She'll just sit there and repeat herself like a stupid, broken record. I don't do chores or clean back at home. I was really tired. I do feel that we have made some progress. You know, we could still be out there shoveling right now, and we're not. I think she got the message.